Hey Taylor peeps, it's Eric again. Uh, I'm doing a new format type of video. Uh, it's gonna be like kind of like a news article. Well, it's not a news article, but it's just something I've been thinking about. Uh, so, for my Twitch streams recently, or at least for Serbian New Year, I've uh, worn a costume. I've worn a Serbian hat, a Sikacha, some uh, sunglasses, a Yugoslavian basketball jersey, and the most important part, what we're we going to be discussing in this video is a Yugoslavian flag worn as a cape. Now, I know in America, the American flag should never be worn as a cape or on any clothing. It shouldn't be uh, worn in the rain, or uh, flo flown in the rain, or uh, touch the ground. Now, would it be disrespectful in other nations for it to be worn as a cape? Now, the thing is, with the wearing a flag as a cape shows nationalism for any country but in Yugoslavia uh, Yugo or, uh, nationalism wasn't really uh, wasn't preferred or it wasn't really allowed so um, I'm thinking it might be a little bit of a contradictory I don't know what the if they had uh, flag standards during their time as the uh, Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia I don't know, there wasn't a whole lot of information on Google about um, how other nations uh, consider their flag to be flown or how to be respected, you know. I think it's kind of inferred that all flags shouldn't be, like, touch the ground, stuff like that. But is it disrespectful for other flags of other nations to be worn as capes or other clothing? Uh, I'm not sure, especially with the Yugoslavian flag. Uh, it's now six different... Uh, countries now, uh, Slovenia, Croatia, uh, Bosnia y Herzegovina, uh, Montenegro, uh, Serbia, and uh, Macedonia. Sorry, Greek. Or should I say former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia then for you. But anyway, and not Kosovo, because Kosovo is Serbia. But anyways, should it be like, could it be, if I wear a Yugoslavia flag as a capes, would I maybe have to look at how all those six former Yugoslav republics uh, nowadays have their flag uh, flown or presented. Uh, I know it's really a hotbed topic in America because we're very like proud of our flag and stuff like that. And people are, especially for stu like st uh, sitting down and kneeling and all that for the national anthem that we've been talking about recently. I was just kind of curious and what do you guys think and maybe how I should uh, go about doing this. Do you think it might be disrespectful to wear a Yugoslav flag as a cape even though it's not a country? But uh, it's not a country on the map, but it, but it's a country in the heart, alright? But uh, what do you guys think uh, about other countries, not just USA? Maybe if you guys know like the rules of uh, how a flag should be flown in other countries or something like that maybe let me know so maybe I can get a gauge of whether I should I'm probably just gonna still do it even though it might be disrespectful because it's uh, not a flag that's even used anymore I don't know maybe I don't know how do you think I don't know I think uh, Tito's view on the, what I would do and uh, maybe Slobodan Milosevic's view on what I would like bring the flag as a cape would be different uh, I don't know but uh, maybe if you guys know any other countries, flag standards, maybe you could put in the comments. We have a nice little discussion. So I need to wait till you peeps. Uh, be sure to be commenting, uh, liking, subscribing, all the ings. Nuke that like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.